the guy is uh, that conference call. He kind of apologized for it after uh, kind of created his own opportunity to be able to buy stock and took advantage of it. You know, got a good bargain there because of uh, Tony Saganegi and. Yeah, you know, but it, stepping back, I mean, this is a fascinating story over the next six months. What's going to happen here to this company? Yes. Their ability to get up to that 5000 a week that they need to for the Model 3, whether the cash burn will come down dramatically, uh, just so many other things. I mean, he, he is such an iconic figure, Mr. Musk, in so many ways. Can't say that there aren't any number of people rooting for him, but the question is, can you really make an automobile that's this good but do it profitably? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why is there always a belief that there is some billionaire out there that wants to write him a check? You know that's the undercurrent of a lot of a lot of the bulls, because on the face of it, this company should not be able to continue it without should. a huge amount of money. Well, that's the story of the auto business, right? Is the, you know, he, he was having this back and forth with Buffett about moats. The moat yeah. there is enormous amounts right. of cash that are needed. Yeah, you, I capital. Mean, Fifteen years ago, you might have said the big three had a had a moat, right? And if they yeah. did, he crossed it. Yeah. Look, I, I always think about Jay Leno being here, Mr. Carr, just saying, look, you know, who else has gotten to this point? I mean, what other car company? But we know, I mean, he may—he threw down that gauntlet, I don't know why, that they don't need a financing. Then he buys stock. Uh, right. That encourages you to believe that he, there's no financing. Uh, if there's they, financing, why if buy they stock? do need to, and they do, what would, what would you, you think they'd raise debt or equity? Which do you go with, both? And how dilutive I, and how badly would the stock price react if they had to do what would clearly be a dilutive equity offering? Uh, I think that he would never give away stock given what he just did. Right. You know, he would do some debt so deal, like, debt a, deal. A, like a Netflix. And, you know, some of these deals that are being done are, you know, five, six percent out of, you know, I don't know if you've been following some of the Yeah, yeah Netflix can coming. get that. Yeah. Musk, Musk, Musk not would love that. that. No? <laughs> no. Don't you think he would buy some of it? Have you ever noticed he does that? He does like a, let's say he does a $2 billion deal yes. and he takes down yes. 500 million of it. I don't know. Someone's out there because it shouldn't be where it is. He's well, already got some stock. Is used as collateral already. That you know he's. And like, I think at 225, it's got to go. It's got to sell it. He uh, he did feed the cult of personality last night at the Met Gala, uh, where he appeared uh, in a quite a nice dinner jacket along with Grimes, reportedly his new flame. And then the the SEC filing was it yesterday. Um, we continually evaluate CapEx needs, uh, may raise additional capital to fund growth, but no timeline on that. Is that a Nehru jacket? Well, I mean, what can I say? He's confounding the shorts. How many times a day do you get a piece from a short on? Uh, is the bonds or the stock a better tell? Because the bonds are trading in the 80s. Bonds are always right. Stocks never right. Come on, when have the, when have the bonds been wrong? Tell me. Bonds are when have wrong. bonds been wrong? Yeah. Smarter people in bonds. The guys who work on that uh, for uh, the S&P are very smart guys. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.